jackhammer going over there above the falls. I don't know what they're working on, but I guess it can't make too much racket. The falls make about the same amount of noise. But anyway, the sun's shining on the falls, and they have the, um, the rainbow earlier, but it looks like it's gone away a little bit. I'll try scanning a little bit, and they pick it up. I think it's gone now. Yeah, the rainbow has left it, so flow today. So we'll call that good. Over in and out to Guamie Falls. This is Wednesday. It must be the 19th of May. So, it's about 8.30 in the morning. Okay, over and out. Okay, we're at Sequamie Falls and you can see the cliff across the falls going over. I'm going to zoom in and see if we can find something interesting here. I heard there's something really neat that hangs out here in the area. And hopefully, oh look, I got a peregrine falcon coming in the view. Well, this is one of the pair that nests here every year. I'll back off just a little bit there. It's one of her favorite perches, so. Well, we'll keep an eye on this one, then we'll check around and see if we can locate the mate. I thought we'd come up today and check on them. The falls is really running good. I'll try to get a little bit of that in there. I can just see the water coming over there in the edge. Now I'll zoom back so we get a perspective where that nest location is. I'll come in slow. We've been scanning the area. We haven't seen anything flying yet. There's that big dark crack. And there's that green patch right there right above this green patch. All right, she got it up and she's moving around the nest now, checking out a few things. A peregrine falcon, Swami Falls. Well, now we know that the nest is uh, pretty much underway. She must be incubating now and just got up for a break. Well, look at that, would you? Yeah, now she's, uh, I think she's rotating the eggs around. So it looks like she's going to try to settle back down on them. Yeah, she's settling back down on the eggs now. Well, how cool is this? I'll keep it running. We're running a soundtrack here. and You can hear the falls. Yeah, she just stood up and rotated the eggs, kind of moving around a little bit. It's nice and warm now today. All right, she's in the nest. I think the male is there. Here comes the male in. All right. Who is that? I don't know if he brought her some food or he just come in to help her out. So we're all excited about that. We got him landing in there. Oh yeah, there she goes. I think he's relieving her a little bit. I didn't exactly see which one switched, but anyway, I'm thinking that was her and he just come sailing in. Well, that's a great video there. I was walking over to the nest, checking things out. Let's see, I'm trying to see if there's an egg. Looks like there might be. This one's kind of settling down. Oh, yeah. This is looking really good. Well, these are our peregrines. We're all excited. We're glad we came up today to witness all this. The sun is right and it's looking really good. There's not hardly any mist blowing. We'll keep an eye on it. Yeah, it's definitely settling down. So we've seen one fly in and we'll leave the others. So that's good. I see the male fly around. There she goes. Now they're, uh, I think there's some food. Yep, she just got the food handoff. And she's coming back in now. He just gave her the food for the babies. There's her little heads and then we'll get our feeding here. How great is that? Got her flying out, flew over, got the handoff in midair and now she's back here feeding these guys. 
a little bit of meat. What a wonderful day to be here. Mama Peregrine feeding the youngsters. She's been feeding them for a while. We'll see what happens here. Oh yeah, now she's moving up a little bit. She thinks it's time for these guys to get warm again. Look at that, she's settling back down on them now. Feeding's over and now it's time to cover them up and keep them warm. There you can see her wiggling around a little bit from there out. Don't see nothing. Here she comes. <laughs> well, the male just lit. She's hopped off the babies. Now I can see if I can get him. Uh, he should come in and relieve her. Yeah, I see. Look, he's walking over to him now. All right, they're greeting Papa. Look at that! What a wonderful movie! What a wonderful movie! The males come in, relieve the female. Now he's taking care of the youngsters. <laughs> he likes that babysitting this guy. Well, isn't that cool? Little guys are looking. Where's the food? But he doesn't have any. He doesn't look like it. See the two little heads going there. Well, you know, he may have brought in a little tiny bird or something. Looks like they are feeding. This monitor is pretty small, but they are looking pretty active. Well, that gives Mama a break, and oh yeah, Papa will give a chance to feed these little guys. What a wonderful video! We're in the right spot today. We got to see him exchange there in the nest. He looks like he's staying busy. Yeah, they're happy to see him. I think he did bring in a small bird. Well, here's a male. He's done feeding. Looks like he's going to fly away. Let's see what happens here. All right, there he goes. Now maybe we can see the youngsters come out from behind the grass. And I'm expecting to see Mama fly in pretty quick. So I'll let her run a little bit here. We give him a short feeding, and uh, here she comes in now. She's coming in. There she landed. All right. She landed there with the babies. The male had finished feeding. Now there you can see the two babies right there on the ledge, and the mama peregrine falcon just landed, came back. Now the male had fed him a little bit. Now she's checking. Uh, you can see a couple of the babies. There's four of them. They're just kind of hanging out, waiting for uh, Papa to deliver some food. He's out hunting and uh, Mama's kind of staying cuddled up to him, but it's a little cool right now. He's looking around here for him. You can see her looking over her back there. Oh yeah, she looks like uh, looks like she's going to fly out. All right, there she goes. Now we can see the babies. Hey, Mom, where'd you go? Look at that guy. What a cutie. He just stared down. The other ones are kind of half asleep. What a beautiful shot. Now he's kind of moving around. Here comes another one kind of out in the open. Now we can get a good look at him. And they're 12 days old now, so they can go without her body heat or her incubation for quite a while. Yeah, they'll be able to lay here for a while until she comes back with some food, so... We're going to enjoy this. We have filtered light today, and uh, it's absolutely just wonderful. Well, it looks like they're waking up a little bit now. Oh yeah, I think he's got a little something in his beak. He's playing with a feather or something. This must be his signal, I'm hungry. <laughs> well, four of these guys, this little pile of peregrines here. Hey, you see him peeking around. Three heads up, where's number four? Oh yeah, there's number four. Look at him go around now, they're getting excited. They think it's time for a little snack. They're getting all repositioned here. These are some good looking babies. Now they're kind of standing up. We're really liking that. And every day you can uh, see these little guys have got a little way in the grass here. 
but we can get a good view of them today. And here they are. That's what they look like when they're about 12 days old. So. I don't know if they heard one of the adults calling or what, or they just thought it was time to get up. They're moving around a little bit. Yeah, here's our little babies, and looks like Mama's feeding them, getting their breakfast. Now they're just a little over two weeks old now. It's a great morning, we got sunshine and the babies look like they're hungry little guys. <laughs> How wonderful is this? Look at all the wonderful markings on, on her face. She got this black marks and the cheek stripes and her sear. These little guys, look how energetic they are. All lined up in a row there, all four of them. <laughs> this is just wonderful. We've been kind of keeping track on them in different stages, but uh, it's been uh, about three days since we've been here. Decided to come up this morning and see what we can find, and we're very happy to get here at this time now with the babies having their feet. I didn't see her uh, bring it in, I was getting set up. But this is really wonderful. One uh, wonderful iry to make videos of. It. Right at Suquami Falls. It's always beautiful here. What a wonderful natural setting for the peregrine falcon and their chicks. We got a good angle on them today because usually she's standing in front of them. So this time they're uh, she's on the back side and they're all lined up in a row. You can't get any better than that. I'm all excited about this one. I was kind of looking around for the male. I haven't seen him, but I'm sure he's not far away. I didn't see what she brought in, but you know it's got to be a good sized prey to feed all four of these guys now. the Cooper Hawks we're going to be uh, making videos of also down in uh, Renton, Washington. But they haven't hatched out yet, so we do uh, many different birds of prey. We have bald eagles also that we uh, make videos of. And uh, the eagle nest that we're watching in Renton, the bald eagle nest, uh, they've hatched, but they're too small. We haven't been able to get a view of them once they get big enough to lift their heads over, we'll be able to see it. Now we're getting a little bit of mist going by, but it's not bad. So I just I went down and checked on the bald eagle nest this morning and nothing going on, so I came up here and I'm sure glad I did. Look at these guys. They're totally enjoying their breakfast. They look really healthy here. Like I say, they're just over two weeks old now. Mama's got them breakfast going here and the male's out hunting again. Takes a lot of food at this nesting stage. Feed four babies this size plus Mama and then himself. series on the prairie falcon last year over on Canyon Road between Ellensburg and Yakima and we were able to make that video from the time that she was incubating the eggs till they hatched till they flew away so we went over there about every two days two or three days we plan to do that with these here is the 
come up by every th two or three days and you see the progress and uh, we'll make some good videos of it. You can hear the falls is flowing pretty good. Uh, the weather's warmed up and it's snow melt, so we're getting quite a bit of water through here now. idea what she brought but I'm zoomed in as far as I can it's about 160 yards from where I'm at to the nest so I've got a good spot here it's a good angle and they've got what is the critter zoom set up critter zoom peregrine falcon you just go to critterzoom.com and you can find it and they're shooting about the same angle as I am now it's only down about 50 feet from me, so, and at the same elevation, so. All right, let's see what she's gonna do now. Oh yeah, looks like she's gonna fly out of here. Looks like she's thinking about, oh yeah, checking a few things out here. Look at these wonderful babies. She's such a good mama, look at it. <laughs> this is really great. She'll look for any kind of a little scrap thing and she'll haul that away. If anything needs to be hauled out of there, she'll do it. We got all her babies right there next to her. Look at that, would you? Well, I think she wants to snuggle up there with them a little bit. She must be th thinking it's a little bit cool yet. Get over here next to Mama and I'll warm you up a little bit. I say it's in the morning now and uh, it's not really that warm and she's a little bit concerned about it so all right you little guys come over here next to mom and they're happy to do that now at the stage they're at now a little over uh, two weeks they can uh, they kind of regulate their body temperature themselves now, but they do need a little help yet if it's too cold, but they're doing just great. She knows exactly what she's doing. Now when their little primary feathers get about eight of an inch long, then they will not need her heat anymore. They can regulate their own body temperature. They're actually kind of doing that now when the weather's warm, but she decided, well, it's a little bit cool. I'll just kind of help them out a little bit. What a beautiful setting. All this at a great scenic site, Suquamish Falls. Yeah, she finished up eating. Now she's just kind of babysitting. It don't look like the little guys want to stay under her. So they want to play around a little bit. about keeping them warm but they don't look like they're they're kind of cleaning up the beak got any more food <laughs> they are sure energetic this morning we're getting a wonderful view of this we're at a good angle today oh yeah there's a couple of them snuggling up the mama and see the little eyes little dark eyes there they're getting around pretty good look how big their feet are already they need big feet and they grab their prey. It's got some long toes on there. The bird was used for falconry years ago because they're so fast and such great hunters. They've been used in falconry for about, who knows, four or five thousand years, I guess. They do a lot of falconry in Asia and Europe yet. We have several clubs here in the United States that are into it. 
they've been very helpful in uh, having uncontaminated breeding stock when they brought these birds back from extinction, on the verge of extinction. So that helped out good because their birds were not contaminated with the DDT. Well, let's see what she's doing now. She's kind of walking back over here. And I think she just flew out. Yep, there she goes. Well, let's see what the little guys are going to do now. Kind of snuggling in there. Here she comes into the nest. Back in again, both of them tail in. The babies are waking up. Well, we'll see what happens. Here they come over the feed. Look at this. This is fantastic. Just as the sun is coming out, they both made a couple of flights into the cliff. We saw a glimpse. And we got food now. Here she is. Look how big these babies are. They're almost as big as she is now. They've been waiting for their afternoon snack, and here it is, been delivered. Oh yeah, we're going to get a good view here. Look at that, coming around to the side there to get in position for a feeding. Four little peregrine falcons, two and a half weeks old now. Oh yeah, you can see how much they've grown since the last time we made a video of them. Very healthy looking birds. They woke up just in time for a good feeding. I didn't see what she brought in for the food. But I imagine it's a fairly good sized piece. The little guys are all excited about it, I'll tell you. You can see them moving right there. They're getting their feed right now. I saw them looking around a little bit earlier trying to spot one of the adults and now they're happy to see it. <laughs> so one of them has brought them something to eat. Oh yeah, wasn't that much. Looks like it's gonna fly out now or go to the other side. Oh yeah. Let's sit here for a minute. Kind of take, catch her breath a little bit, scratch up. She just got done feeding them. Gonna clean up her feet a little bit. Give us a good profile here. Oh yeah, cleaning her beak, scratching up. She just got done feeding. She wants to get all that extra food off there. Now she's far enough away from the baby. She's gonna have a little privacy. They can get cleaned up. What a great day. Alright, looks like she's going to preen up now. Got the babies all nestled in their little spot. They're all fed and she's going to take the opportunity to preen up her feathers and get all squared away. Here she's preening her tail. Oh yeah, look at the beautiful markings on that tail. See all the markings on her head now. Oh yeah, she's going to get everything squared away here. Getting down there on her breast feathers a little bit. They keep themselves really clean because of course what they're eating is the uh, is blood-borne, you know, live prey, and then they, when they eat it, it's raw meat, and they got to get rid of that blood because blood's a contaminant. So they have to stay clean. They bathe up. Usually right after they get done, or at least once a day, they will bathe to get cleaned up. So they're quite fastidious for that reason. And, uh, it's because of the blood, and they don't want to get diseases, and that's nature's way. They get cleaned up. Take a bath every day and get rid of it. Oh yeah. She's got plenty of water here, that's for sure. She wants a bath. She's got a 
right at the top of the falls is kind of like a little pool stag a little pool is just not much flow to it she goes in there and does her bath oh she's gonna stretch now look at that wing and leg stretch oh yeah she's getting all squared away here staying in tip-top shape well this is the fastest bird in the world fastest creature actually They can dive at 275 miles an hour, that's what they documented that. Oh, yeah. Continue on our little cleanup here. We're hoping to see the male come by and call her off, but uh, doesn't look like that will be the case yet. But she wants to stay uh, close to where she's at so she can uh, keep an eye on the youngsters. Oh yeah, rousting the feathers up there again. Oh, look at that pose. Get to see her tail and the wings. How great was that? The back shot. I think she's posing for us. We're liking this. <laughs> again, looking around for the nail. Every once in a while, there's a... Oh yeah, there she goes. Yeah, here's our guys. Okay. Been a few days since we've been here. You can sure see how they've grown. Look how long the dark feathers are on their wings. Getting their markings. I see three of them. I don't see number four. Well, this one is picking on something. I don't know if it's food or just an old feather or bone he's playing with. Oh, yeah, I see movement off to the left. So that's number four. They moved from their other location because it got too messy. But where they're at now, the parents use this off and on for a nesting site the past years. So. It's only like about five, six feet from the nest so where they hatched out this year. So it's just all part of the same ledge. Yeah, he's getting busy there. Well, it looks like the preening session. Oh, he's walking around pretty good. See how they get around? Look how long his wing feathers are and his tail feathers are ready. He's walking really good, learning to use his feet. Relieves himself really well. <laughs> oh, there's Mama just landed. Look at that. Right behind him with the food. Now we'll see what happens here. How wonderful is that? We got, oh yeah, this one grabbed a big chunk of food. Look at that. This is either Mama or Papa sailed in here. And look how big the babies are compared to the adult now. This is absolutely great. Now the males are one-third smaller than the females, so that might have been the male that blew into the food. Now he's flying over to his perch. But they'll bring more food. Takes a lot of food for these guys. Yep, there's the one that's got the food. He's uh, got his little wings out and he's shielding it from everybody else, so he's going to eat. Now the parents will go catch some more food and bring it in for the other ones. There's one guy here, he's trying to get a little piece of that axe in there. We'll see if the other one will share with him. I don't think so. He's uh, got the wing out, he's not going to let him have it. Well, it looks like he might get a bite. Oh yeah! Well, we'll just watch and see what goes on here. The other one gave up and went back in the bushes. And the number three bird there, he's just standing up waiting for the next feeding. Alright, so we got two of the guys kind of sharing the same prey here. But as they get older, that'll change. They won't share at all. So. But now they're young enough that they uh, go ahead and allow that. Well, they're having a good feed. Well, we'll check and see where that male went pretty quick, or the adult. I see the one there, he's looking around. 
and exercising. Well, these two are still eating. The other one's just standing there up next to the cliff and the other one's in the bush. And the adult is still over in the tree, so... I'm thinking the other one should sail in here with some food eventually. Maybe we'll get to see that. We've been keeping an eye on their sense of head. Oh, look at this guy walk over here. I want a bite of that too. Oh no, we're busy. You'll have to wait till mom comes in the next time. <laughs> oh, these birds are so interesting. We enjoy coming up here. Oh yeah, look at spread those wings now. Totally enjoying the good weather. I didn't see what size prey they brought in, but they're having a good time eating it anyway. The lucky one got it. Looks like he's kind of sharing with his sibling. This one here wants to exercise his wings. They grow so fast. Just unbelievable. A few days to make that much difference. I like how they can walk around pretty good now. And, oh, he's just checking out the one with the food, see if we can get a little bit of that. I see on their backs the little dark feathers and stuff making that little design. <laughs> Now the bigger ones are the females, and if we have a male, he'll be one-third smaller, so that's the way it is with the birds of prey. It don't look like the one that got the food's going to share much. <laughs> no one's hanging in there, though. Well, maybe they finish it up, turned around and turned away, see? Doesn't want to share it. Oh, there's the other one trying to get a bite. Look at that now. Well, how interesting is that? Well, I'm beginning to think that might have been the little tarsal trying to get some of that food from his big... Well, it's starting to rain a little bit, so... This one here is exercising his wing. He decides he's going to come back out. But they go under that ledge when it's raining to stay dry, and... Uh, we're just getting a slight sprinkle now. It's starting to dry off, so maybe they'll come out and play a little bit. Look at this guy working those wings. Breeze is picking up a little bit. He feels that, so he wants to practice with his wings. Well, so, well he's just going to lay there. And we know one of them, or maybe even two of them, have gotten fed, so we have two more to go here. The ones that got fed are probably behind the bush now kind of resting. These two guys, they are uh, out here obviously waiting for the food, I think, for the next feeding. As you can see how much preening they do. They do a lot with their preening. And in about a week and a half, they'll be flying out of here, or flying off the cliff. They'll still hang around. The parents will teach them everything they need to know. There they are. The sides of their head around their eyes all feathered in. Oh, we got all three there. The one, number four, is behind the bush, I think, way back in. Well, now I'm glad I came up. I wanted to see what progress has been made in the last few days, and it looks like quite a bit. There he is working with his foot, cleaning up his toenails. Yeah, he's doing a good job. Got two of them right in the center stage here. They're uh, looking at each other one. Hey, Mom, where's the food? Bring him, we need some food. Now, the other two are hiding. One's behind the bush, and the other one's off on the point. But these two are center stage now, and they're waiting for one of the adults to deliver the food. Okay, Mama just dropped off the food. There she goes. Got the food delivery, and this one's got it. He's running back over here. I'll zoom out a little bit. All right. Now they're all excited. One got the food, and out comes all four of them now running around. And looks like the one on the point is taking possession of it. And looks like uh, 
Mom is still hanging in there trying to divvy up who gets it. Yeah, she's feeding the one there. All right. It looks like a free-for-all now. My goodness sakes, look at them. They're really going after it. Here comes Johnny come lately. Don't look like he's going to get much. All right, Mom's going to take off. Oh, yeah, there she goes. All right, these guys finally got their breakfast. It's almost a noon now, but uh, they've been hanging in here since 6 o'clock this morning. So she'll go gather up some more food and other prey item and bring it in. They'll all get fed. They're all excited about it. Oh, yeah. They got went to the one on the point, so that's pretty good. Now, here they are, a close-up. Mama came in and dropped off food, and uh, they're kind of fighting over all four of them, or a pile of peregrines here. Hey, look at that. He's had a little bite. Oh, it's an exciting day to be here today. We got Mama came in with the food and dropped it off. So we have four uh, young peregrine falcons here eating the food. She just got the delivery from the mama yeah. and she's flying out and uh, and uh, they're trying to eat their food now. All right, we've been waiting here since six o'clock this morning and we finally got to see them come in and feed them. The one with the wings out is not feeding and they're just sleeping. You wouldn't even know they were there. They blend right in. Looks like she's thinking about maybe flying. There she goes. All right. How cool is that? Now we'll see what these guys do with the, what she left the carcass. This is absolutely fantastic. Yep, they're finishing it up now. Oh, yeah. Yep, they're practicing getting those wing muscles all. Oh, yeah, now look at the white fuzzy feathers fly. <laughs> I have a little exercise session here. Peregrine falcon. Oh, mom just flew in. Look at that. Let's see what we got going here. All right. Oh, they're hungry guys. Yep. Mama brought in the breakfast. There you go. Well, we'll see what goes on. See how big they are, all four of them here? My goodness. Got their wings out. All lined up here. Well, you can see the difference now from <laughs> three days ago. Man, look how they resemble the adults. Got a little more beige to them, not so much the white, but the size of them. Coloring, my goodness. I figured she'd become sailing in here at any time. There's one calling away there. My goodness. Yeah. Time to eat now. I'll see if we come down here a little bit. Alright, there we go. And then I'm alright. That's closer than getting out. Zoomed in. Look at that. Well, I wonder what the prey was this time. I see one of them back up in the tree, so that's the mate. Back up in the lookout tree, and this one here is doing the feeding. What a great day to come up here. We like to come about every three days and check on their growth cycle. It looks like they are really growing. Most of the white feathers now are gone, the downy feathers. She's still teaching them table manners. She's got them all lined up here and handing this one a little bit. Mama says get in line here. Nobody's hoarding all the prey. You're all going to get a little bit. <laughs> well, how interesting is that? Oh, yeah, I'm just looking at the markings on the youngsters and then on the adults. That's amazing. That can happen in such a short period of time. Remember, they hatched out April 29th. Oh, they're really growing here. Great fill 
shoulder light today or a pair in Falcon Irie at Sequami Falls, big feeding session. Didn't take them long, and two of them were sleeping behind that bush and she comes sailing in, they woke up right quick. <laughs> the first two I think seen her in the air because they started flapping their wings and then, uh, she sailed in, got them all lined up here, so. We're going to enjoy this. I woke up fairly early this morning. It gets light now real early. And I looked, it's all clear. So I got in my car and drove up here and got all set up. But I'm sure glad I did because I filtered light. Get the first feeding session of the day. Also got the adults over in their lookout tree earlier. Falls is really beautiful today. It's just pure white water rolling over there. And seen a few of the other birds in the picnic area eating. And we've just been keeping an eye on these guys. This is the moment we've been waiting for. Live action and a big feeding session. I kind of figure by looking at them that we have uh, Three females and one male in the youngster. Now that little one is the male. He's one third smaller. That's the one right to the right there with Mama, I think. The other three are the big sisters. I have my coffee and check Critter Zoom on the computer. That's what they got set up here. It's getting the same thing that's going on now. CritterZoom.com, Falcon Nest. And, uh, You'll see exactly what you're seeing now right on your computers. But their camera's just, oh, like 50 feet from me, aimed in on the same place, about the same angle. That's kind of interesting. If you got a smartphone, you can pull it up right here and see what I'm seeing right on my camera at the same time. I'm always amazed at the technology that we can see today right there on the computer and on the smartphone. My goodness, these guys are really chowing down. Well, it is the first feeding of the day, so... The way they're feeding, I think it's a good size prey. Probably a pigeon, I would think. About three days ago or so, she was uh, feeding the big pigeon. They all got a good feed, then they all slept afterwards, so... probably do this one. She feeds them this heavy. They'll uh, exercise, jump around for a while, and then uh, take a nap. <laughs> She's doing a great job here. It won't take them long to eat this. we got four youngsters this big eating, and one pigeon probably, so it won't take long. She gets a little bit of it too, I think. It's, uh, Beautiful lighting today, all filtered. Don't have the mist there. Everything is dry. There's a lot of noise in the falls, but what can you do? That's a lot of water going over there. It makes a racket. It's part of the natural area. Oh. Great spot. They turn their heads, you get to see their eyes and everything. My goodness. Yeah, she's doing a fine job, and the other one is still up in the dead tree on lookout, so. I think that's probably the male up there, this is the female feeding them. They were both in the tree earlier, keeping an eye on them wait for a chance to go hunt and you know, they had great success so nobody's going hungry here <laughs> this guy's getting full he's walking around behind mama here changing position well, i think he's gonna have a better shot at this side I guess. <laughs> oh yeah they're in the huddle now they're bent down getting the last few pieces out of here 
Yep. Look at that one next to Mama with mouth open, hollering. <laughs> what a great feeding session. I just had a feeling that something was going to happen really good up here today because the weather looked good. Well, I'll get a early cup of coffee and come up, and I'm sure glad I did. I like the position, too. I right? Or it's like the youngsters with their backs to me and I can see mama feeding them all in the row there. And they're not behind that bush. A couple of times I came to feeding time, they were feeding behind that green bush to the left. So they don't see much. This is really great. Can't wait to put this on YouTube and share it with all our friends. So. There's one talking about, oh, what? Over on the other side of the bush, kind of spreading out now. And it's starting to slow down on the feeding. That one must have got enough. Oh yeah, nice see mama really good. Look at those great markings on her head there and the side of her face. My, what a handsome bird. Well, this guy, this gal's walking over here behind mom now. <laughs> kind of pecking at mom. Mom, I want some more. So you better come around the front here with the rest of them. <laughs> yeah, we'll just watch this. Calling away here. Have a little tug of war now. Look at this here. This is just great. Yep, on the right hand side, I'm going to. I think that's the little male right next to mom and the other three of the females. Right in front and then going to the left. Yeah, I'm going to go with the three females and one male on this. My little guy's in there. Hey, mom, I'm right here. The girls ate most of it. Give me what's left. <laughs> He's getting it now. Oh, yeah. Hey, there's big sister. Got me a chunk. She'll run off over here now and go behind the bush, see? Alright, see mama exercising her wings, five and a half weeks old, look at this, boy they're revving them up, <laughs> well they know they're going to have to fly pretty soon, so they're getting all their exercise in, getting their muscles built up, oh yeah, this is a great exercise session, look at these guys, how cool is that? Now they're hopping around here, hoping Mama bring them some food. They're all over this cliff. Look at that. There's Mama bringing in some food. How about that? All right, we'll see what happens here. Looks like a big prey item, too, so everything is good. They're going behind the bush a little bit, so we'll see what happens here. Well, that's what happens when they're five and a half weeks old. My goodness. Most of the downy feathers are gone, and she sailed in here with a big prey and is gone behind the bush now. All right, here's our big feeding. Look at all the white feathers. My goodness, a little tug of war going on there. Four uh, juvenile peregrine falcons eating the prey that Mama brought in. Look at that. I'm going over here with this one's mine. It was a big item. I don't know what it was, but look at all them feathers. Mama's feeding them away there. Looks like she's thinking about maybe taking off a little bit. Oh, she's going to make them mind their manners a little bit more here. Yeah, Call them out over here. Oh yeah, they're staying right in the middle now. She's going to finish you in the feed. You can see that the youngsters are uh, just as big as a female, the adult. Now she flew away. So. She brought them in some big prey item. They got white feathers all over the ivory now, so we'll go ahead and keep an eye on them. See, oh, look at the wing. He's playing with that now, so it didn't take too long. It's a good size item. You have four big babies this size. It doesn't take long to eat a pigeon, but uh, here they are. They're sharing it. Seem to be getting along pretty good, so she's a, oh, yeah, now they're fighting over a wing. They're pulling from the left and to the right, so everything is going good here. They're all getting fed and getting their share, so. But this is our juvenile peregrine falcons. They're five and a half weeks old, the same size as the adults. She just brought them in some food and we're making a documentary on it. 
and looks like they're all well fed here. She uh, just flew off the ledge. Now we're back to these two. Mama has flown the coop there off the ledge, and uh, here comes this big sister back for more. <laughs> They've been sharing pretty good. They got white feathers everywhere here. We'll see what's going on. I haven't seen the little male. He's in there somewhere. He's getting his share. I'm sure that all four of them are getting fed. Three big sisters and one male. I sure hope they're not raiding some chicken coop. <laughs> I think it's just a white pigeon myself, but you never know. I do. Uh, last couple times it's been white prey though that she's brought in. I saw her bring in a rock pigeon earlier in the season, but this is uh, pure white here, so I'm kind of concerned a little bit. But anyway, the guys have lost most of their downy feathers. They got them preened off. They've been exercising their wings, preparing themselves for the first flight, whenever that will be, not too far off in the future. But, uh, they've waited a while for their food here and they're enjoying it immensely. They have their little favorite spots. One will eat one place and one behind the bush. These two gals here get along pretty good eating so here we are. Well here's our last uh, peregrine falcon sibling on the ledge here. Picking around I think on some leftovers from yesterday. All the other siblings have flown now, and this is the last one. We came up early here, it's about six o'clock in the morning. She's picking around through the, well, looks like a good size leftover she's got there. I don't know if mama came in and dropped some. I'm thinking leftover, but you never know. It's six o'clock, it gets light early. She may have dropped something off. But I think uh, usually they don't feed them quite this early, so. Maybe this will be the day that this one sails off and joins the other one. We got some on the cliff below me and some in the trees, so we'll see if she takes flight today and maybe we'll get lucky and get a video of it. But she's just picking around here a little cache of food she's got up under the ledge here. Checking everything out. Look at all the white feathers from the pigeons. They've been really catching pigeons the last few days. They're not going hungry, I'll tell you that. Our lighting is really good, too. The good profile on the bird now. She's looking around. She's probably kind of enjoying not having to share the food with everybody with a big free-for-all. She's just uh, sitting here with her wings flat instead of spread out to hide the food. So she's relaxed now with her food. All right, looking over this way, looking up maybe for Mama. Oh, this is a big chunk of meat. Look at that. Well, she's not going to go hungry today. She just turned around. That's got to be a whole pigeon for her. So maybe Mama came in early already and dropped off a big chunk of meat. Well, the food. Oh, she's a hollering about something now. She's seen somebody maybe. She's a hollering. Oh, here comes one. Mama came in. Yep, Mama came in to join her. It went behind the bush. I'll back off a little bit. Well, yeah. They got a little hiding place behind the bush. There she goes. Mom flew out. All right. Well, that was very interesting. Imagine that early bringing her a chunk of meat that big. That was a whole pigeon. So she must have brought that early because I was here yesterday and watched them. Well, this is one lucky uh, peregrine falcon. Last one on the ledge gets the whole pigeon to herself. Mom comes in and gets, checks up. Well, here's our girl enjoying that big pigeon carcass, I believe it is. Just see her eating right behind the tree here. She's all happy, got the whole thing to herself. Oh, look at her eyes. She's all lit up, looking good. She's enjoying it. She was on the ledge there, and then Mama came in and checked up on her, and then she went behind the tree here, and uh, or the bush, and now she's eating her food. 
Mama went back up in her tree and up there by the mail and they're uh, on lookout, keep an eye on the other siblings that have blown out of the nest. Well, this is the last one we have to fly off the ledge here, but usually when they eat this much, like a whole pigeon, they're not going to feel like flying. <laughs> She'll probably gorge herself and that'll be it. We're going to keep an eye on them. We're checking around in the trees for the other siblings. I want to try to zoom in on them if we can find them and get a couple of videos of those. But this gal here, last one to leave the eyrie and getting the best food. <laughs> That's the first time in her life she got a whole pigeon to herself. And she looks like she's enjoying it. She takes a couple of bites there, looks around, and that's just a reflex of when she had the other siblings with her, make sure nobody's coming up to steal it. But you can see she doesn't have her wings out now because you know there's nobody there to threaten her food, so. Well, the pair has been flying along the cliff here, and this one here, the Stephen's watching them. And they were acting like they did when they seen the raccoon about a week ago, so. But they were cackling. Oh yeah, here he is. Raccoon. He just went by me again. Yep, they came right in front of me, so we have a repeat of exactly what happened a few days ago. This one here even stopped eating to watch the show because mom and pop were zooming by this ledge here and the raccoon just walked by us. Well, how about that? These parents are definitely alert. Well, let's see what our gal is doing now. See if I can get the male up in the tree here. Well, here's one of our peregrines still on raccoon watch. He's sitting right across from the lodge there big uh, conifer tree right by the falls. This one's looking around. A rapid or raccoon watch, I guess. Uh, this is uh, did the same repeat as what happened on June 1st. The raccoon come by when they were dive bobbing me. And this one went to the exact same tree. So this is where they keep an eye on them. They're really alert today because uh, Three of the siblings are out of the eyrie, have flown off the ledge. And we have one of the big females still on the ledge eating a whole pigeon today, so... I think she's going to be there for a while. She probably won't try to fly with her crop so full. But I think she's good for another day. Well, yeah, beautiful lighting day. It's filtered light. We're seeing a lot of things, and... Uh, we're going to see if we can locate one of the three that are into the, flown the, out of the nest a couple of days ago. They should be in the trees or on the ledge. But we're going to see if we can kind of locate them. So, but they're hard to find unless they would flap their wings or something. But this bird is looking really good here. There he goes. a little bit. She's still looking for that raccoon. Make sure that raccoon walks out of the area. He was over here by the lodge. And the tree keeping an eye on everything and flew down here. She must, she saw the raccoon, she was hollering at it. So now she's down here because this is where the raccoon is. She wants to keep a close eye on it. Well, here's our gal watching a bird fly by. It looked like a might be a vulture. And uh, male's up in the top of his little uh, cedar tree there, a fir tree, watching to make sure that raccoon don't come back. Mama's over by her perch keeping an eye on things. And this gal here that's been eating the pigeon, look at her crop swelling up. She's really filling up. She's watching everything that's going on. She's really watching the adults when they were over here on the cliff zooming and running that raccoon out of the area. 
This looked like a smaller raccoon than what was here on the first, so we might have a family of them raiding the garbage around here, trying to get in the garbage cans. But anyway, the peregrines are alert. They know they're here. But it looks like Big Sister here is getting full. Uh, she proves she cannot eat a whole pigeon by herself. <laughs> She's looking up over here, so... Just kind of posing now and quit eating, but she got the food right there in her talons looking around. Well, I think she's full. We're going to go see if we can locate one of the other siblings in the tree and see what's going on. Well, here's the peregrine Irie at Suquamish Falls. They've long since fledged, but we did see one flying around today again. It's almost August. I'll back off and let you get a perspective here. About 150 yards from the nest. Going back. There you can see the falls. It's uh, not flowing to its full capacity, but we don't have mist. I'm shooting from under the shade tree. I'll come back in and you can see where that nest is. There's a big crack with the greenery at the top. Coming right here where all this dead stuff is. And this white stuff, that's left over from them being in the nest. And you can see they actually killed all the grass. Alright, we'll call that good then. Oh yeah, doing a little preening here. Getting those toenails and toes all cleaned up. Scratching up a little bit. Looking around. Still trying to figure out where the day. Oh, stretching that tail and wing. Look at that. Isn't that wonderful? I love it when they stretch. Yeah, oh, oh, yeah. Now the wing's up. Looking really nice. Well, maybe it'll fly off of here now and get busy. Showing us the white markings and the black cheek stripes. Still looking over towards the cliff, wondering what the mate's up to. We'll keep an eye on him. We're all excited about it. Oh yeah, it looks like he wants to fly, I think. Alrighty. Looking good. See if he's going to fly off of here and join the mate. Oh, yeah, looks like it. Turn, there it goes. 